Hey there, CJ Math students, and welcome back from a hopefully wonderful Thanksgiving break. Uh, let's get into Unit 3. Uh, again, we're working with equivalency, uh, but now we're talking about uh, comparing numbers via ratios and proportions and finding out rates and all sorts of good stuff like that. So here are our key terms, basically, that hopefully you reviewed in, in grade 6. You can read through those. But basically, all you need to know is a ratio is comparing two non-negative numbers. You're saying know how many sixth graders to seventh graders how many men to female how many uh, you know guys on the basketball team to guys on the football team uh, basically just trying to compare things are uh, there equivalent ratios um, basically this is kind of confusing language here it's basically their equivalent ratios if they're equivalent fractions we know we can write a ratio as a fraction uh, so let's give you another example besides the paper passing one um, and I've done some research and said, okay, there are seven of you uh, in the Regis section that are in first study hall and six in the second study hall. So what is the ratio of guys first study hall to second study hall? I can write this as seven to six. I can also write this as seven over six, or I can write this as seven with the word two, six. Three different ways I can write it. Uh, Kinesius has eight guys in the first study hall, 10 guys in the second study hall. I can write this as eight to 10, um, 8 over 10 and uh, 8 to 10. Now the only problem with this, and I'm going to have you erase, is that this is not simplified. So you always need to simplify your ratios. So 8 to 10 is actually simplified down to 4 to 5. 4 to 5, 4 over 5, and 4 to 5. All right. So what do we do? Again, we just took that fraction of 8 over 10 and then just simplified it to get that 4 over 5. Uh, notice how it was first to second. So I didn't put 6 to 7 or 6 over 7 or 5 over 4. I wanted the first study hall, which was this number first, then this number. So for the whole grade, what do I do? I just add them up. 7 and 8, that's 15. 6 and 10, that's 16. And now I find the ratio. So I have 15 to 16. 15 guys in the first study hall, 16 in the second. 15 over 16, or 15 to 16. And that's simplified. You can't divide 15 and 16 by any common factor. Um, so which is a better buy? These are actually really helpful skills for you to have uh, when you uh, shop um, to figure out, hey, is that 30 pack a better buy? Or is that 12 pack a better buy? Which one am I getting a better bang for my buck on that one? So uh, how do we do these? We go ahead and we say we're going to take the price of the item and divide it by the quantity that they give us. So Value Mart is advertising a back to school sale on pencils. A pack of 30 sells for $7.97, whereas a 12 pack of the same brand costs $4.77. Which is a better buy? How do you know? Um, and so basically we're going to compare these two. So we're going to have the 30 pack versus the 12 pack. So again, we want to put the price over the quantity. So the price of the 30 pack is $7.97 over the quantity, which is 30. And you guys are going to be allowed to use Google's uh, calculator today because we're going to be working with some numbers that are going to give us really crazy decimals. So I'll help you out on this one. It gives you 0.265 and it goes on for a really long time. So this is about equal to 0.27. So what does this mean? It means that each pencil in a 30 pack costs about 27 cents, not 27 dollars, 27 cents. And that makes sense because if you take a whole bunch of 27s, multiply by 30, you'll get close to about 7.97. Now for a 12 pack, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take the price of the 12 pack, where is it, where is it? Oh, it's over there, 4.77. And we're going to divide it by how many pencils we have, 12. So again, I'll help you out with the math, but again, you can use Google Calculator and you'll get about 0.397, and we'll go on for a little bit. And what does this mean? This is about, the squiggly equal sign means about, about 40 cents. So again, what does that mean? Each pencil costs about 40 cents. So what's the better buy? The better buy is obviously the 30 pack, right? Because you wanna pay less per pencil. Here you're paying 27 cents versus here you're paying 40 cents. So obviously we want to pay less per pencil. Now you might go to the store and say, well that one costs 7.97, oh this is cheaper, I'll just pay for the one that's 4.77. 
yeah, if you use that logic, then you're going to use up those 12 pencils, and then you have to go buy back to the store and buy more pencils. And in effect, you'll be paying uh, the pencil company more and more money uh, to use pencils when you could have bought a 30-pack and basically paid less per pencil. All right, let's go to the back side. Um, so for rates, uh, basically, you're going to take um, a, a couple ways to do this, right? Um, one idea is to say, okay, um, what is the per rate that I'm, I'm getting? And when we're talking about distance and hours, it's usually per hour, right? Um, so distance and time is usually going to say distance over time, right? That's how we're going to find this rate, right? Because if I'm going 420 miles in seven hours, I want to figure out how fast that is in one hour. So I just do 420 divided by seven, and you should get 60. You keep this rate, miles, and you say per, per because we divided here, and then hours, per hour. Right? Again, we have distance over time here. And we'll say 40 meters is our distance. Meters is distance. You can even write the units over 16 seconds. So again, you can use Google Calculator. Uh, if you want to solve this out, and you can get a decimal, and that's fine because a lot of times unit rates are are not uh, precise. So you're going to get 2.5 meters, the top one first, per second. Okay. Uh, customers in day. So we're going to say the amount of customers per day is basically what we're trying to figure out over days, right? So we'll say 360 over 30. And that will give us 120 customers per day. This is like saying uh, over the holidays, right, over the month of November, a store got 360 customers. And somebody who said, well, let me, uh, I, I've messed this up, sorry, this is way less than, um, this is 12 customers per day, not 120. Um, you know, how many came to our store per day, right? You might want to figure out how that works out, right? Um, so here we have 796 for five pounds. This is like you going to uh, the supermarket and saying, all right, I, I want to buy food here. So we're going to say um, the price over the quantity. So 796 it's dollars over pounds, right? So then, again, using Google Calculator, 796 divided by 5, you can get about a dollar, and it says 592, so we'll say $1.59 per pound. And how do we say pounds? We say LB uh, for pounds. So that's not 16, that's LB. Um, make a little note of that, pound, LB, right? Uh, this ends part one of the note.